So here we have the Vitrix Pro BFG Modular Pro Controller for the PlayStation 5. I've been using this controller for a couple of days now and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts. Is it worth the $230 price tag? Is it better than the DualSense Edge? Hopefully by the end of this video, you'll know if this controller is for you. Also, if you end up finding this video helpful, be sure to hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. The Victrix Pro BFG is an official licensed PlayStation 5 controller and it's also compatible with PC and the PS4 as well. The unboxing experience was nice. The controller comes with a clean hard shell carrying case, which is pretty much a standard now with these Pro controllers. And once you open it, there's a bunch of customizable parts at your disposal. But taking a quick look at the controller itself, its shape, it's very reminiscent of Microsoft's Xbox controller and that's not a bad thing. If you're a fan of Xbox's offset stick placement and its overall controller shape, this controller might be for you. So the whole gimmick with this controller is that it's modular. You can change the stick orientation to make it more like a traditional PlayStation controller where the sticks are symmetrical. And the Pro BFG comes with a six button module you can swap out in for fighting games. What's also included is a screwdriver to make all of these modifications, a long USB-C cord, two different D-pads, a USB dongle for wireless PC gaming, one short convex thumbstick, one long concave thumbstick, and two octagon shaped thingies for your analog stick. I don't even know what to call these. <laughs> Pretty much when you rotate your thumbstick, it's gonna feel like a GameCube controller now with these. The Pro BFG has all the controller features you would expect in a Pro controller. Four mappable buttons in the back, hair triggers with five different stops, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, three user configuration profiles, and a 20 hour battery life. It also has PlayStation specific buttons such as the trackpad and a share button. What the controller does lack is any form of rumble. That may be a pro or con depending who you are. As a fan of controller rumble myself, I'm personally disappointed. But if you're someone who tends to turn off rumble features, especially in competitive games, this is probably a non-issue for you. This controller also lacks all the PS5 stapled features such as adaptive triggers and haptic feedback or even built-in speakers. But once again, if you usually turn off all of these features anyway, it's probably gonna be a non-issue for you personally. For me, I'm kind of bummed out it's not included. The controller is aesthetically appealing. It looks good, but I do have an issue. To me, it feels too light and the materials of this controller feels kind of cheap. I don't know, I'm a fan of weightier controllers. I really don't get that premium, luxurious feel holding this controller. Also, adjusting the hair triggers to its five different stops is kind of a pain in the ass. I wish it wasn't so finicky. You literally have to kind of play around with it to get it where you want it instead of just hitting a switch like other pro controllers have done. I would say the coolest thing about the Pro BFG is its six button module it comes with for fighting games. The whole experience of swapping modules is nice and easy and I love the way the six button module feels. The buttons are really clicky and a bit larger. All right, so between the Victrix Pro BFG and DualSense Edge, which controller do I recommend? On paper, the Pro BFG appears to be better in every way. It has a way better battery life, more customization options, and a cool modular design. But at least for me, it's cheap feeling materials, it's plastic, it's kind of a turn off for me. Yes, the DualSense Edge has only two removable back pedals versus the Pro BFG's four. Yes, the DualSense Edge lasts only about four to six hours versus the BFG's 20 hour battery life. Yes, the DualSense Edge comes with less customizable parts to tinker with and it even costs more, but its built quality is so much better. The DualSense Edge in hand feels like a premium controller. And despite being a pro controller, it retains all the cool DualSense features, such as adaptive triggers, haptic feedback, built-in speaker and mic. So this is what I would actually do. If I primarily play fighting games, I would absolutely go for the Victrix Pro BFG for that six button module that it comes with. But if you're looking for a pro controller for shooters, I don't know, man, I think I would go for the DualSense Edge. It's better build quality and replaceable thumbsticks is much better for that. So in conclusion, the Victrix Pro BFG is a solid controller. I just wish it was a little weightier, it didn't feel so cheap, and offered all the DualSense features. Its modular design is awesome and you should definitely look into it if you're looking into picking up a fighting pad that does a little bit more.